Well, it seems like Nvidia is not done with the GDX cards yet. We've already seen a refresh for the RTX lineup with the super versions for the 2060, 2070 and the RTX 2080, but a new contender may be in the works for the GTX lineup, the GTX 1650 Ti. But before we get to that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you can stay up to date with everything related to gaming and tech. As the name suggests, the GTX 1650 Ti will be based on the same TU117 GPU as the 1650, offering slightly better performance at a slightly higher price point. There has been no official announcement regarding the specs, but according to rumors, the GTX 1650 Ti could have 1024 QRA cores and 4GB of GDDR5 memory running at a bandwidth of 128Gbps. If the previous trends are to be followed, it will have the same 75W TDP as the GTX 1650, being able to run without an external power connector. Now, this could be in response to the Navi 14 rumors which say that AMD is planning to launch their own series of entry-level Navi cards. I mean, we have seen this before with the GTX 1070 Ti when the Vega cards were coming out and more recently when Nvidia launched the RTX Super cards right before the 5700 and the 5700 XT. AMD just can't seem to catch a break. But that's on the GPU side of things because on the CPU side, the red team's kind of crushing it. The new Zen 2 based Ryzen 3000 CPUs have been dominating in sales for the past two months, at least in the German market. According to the latest available statistics, the Ryzen 3000 processors account for 78% of CPUs sold by the retailer Mine Factory. The most popular of these CPUs seems to be the Ryzen 5 3600, which alone has outsold Intel's entire 9th gen lineup. The 3700X seems to be doing quite well too, and this is despite the shortage of Ryzen 3000 CPUs in the market. So the numbers are only expected to improve. And this is even before AMD's upcoming flagship CPU, the 16-core 32-thread Ryzen 9 3950X. But let's not forget that Intel is also planning to release the 10th gen Comet Lake processors too, which will go up to 10 cores on the 14 nanometer plus 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 process. Needless to say, things are going to get very interesting as these two companies go head to head on the CPU front. We for one can't wait to find out how that turns out. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share it with your friends. We'll see you in the next one.